Hi everyone, I am driving Tesla FSD. I just activated Tesla full self driving mode by pressing the right knob twice. I have already put directions in the in the map so you can see. Now I am uh, zooming it so you can actually see the car. Uh, this is in the night mode. I have a lot of videos in the day mode. Uh, but uh, this one is a night mode so night mode actually graphics are pretty neat uh, so you can see that uh, car is going and uh, in front of car there is a blue line basically when it drives in FSD mode uh, it follows that blue line uh, but uh, I don't see any problem driving at night I do see some problem in the rain uh, rain basically if you drive then it will show that FSD is degraded uh, but at night uh, it drives like a day uh, daytime driving I do not see any issue there uh, and graphics are pretty neat uh, and I don't see any issue there in the night actually graphics are pretty clean uh, clean and neat uh, so now I'm stopping at the intersection. It is a red light uh, and you can see uh, in the graphics basically uh, You know the cars from the other side they are driving by and um, Basically you can see uh, people walking around in the in the graphics too and uh, One advantage of driving FSD in the night mode is that if anyone had any issues with you know full beam high beam while driving then uh, fsd actually it doesn't care because it is all driven by the camera system uh, so cameras are not affected by high beam lights coming from the opposite side uh, when you are driving uh, so there is no uh, issue as such um, when if someone is putting high beam on the camera there are almost like uh, many cameras uh, in tesla uh, I, I think there are like seven eight cameras in the tesla uh, so it will detect it and it will drive it properly uh, so it's pretty good for people uh, who has uh, issues driving at night um, and now it started driving it's a it's a green light so you can see uh, actually whatever is in the surrounding it's actually showing in the in this on the screen uh, so car is car is traveling with the no issues uh, there are a lot of um, rumors or there are not a lot of uh, misconceptions that you know FSD cannot stop at red light and so forth but that is not the case I have driven so many miles on my car I don't see any issue there you have to be careful it's not 100% uh, yesterday I listened to uh, Elon's um, Tesla FSD 12 right so that one is much more advanced than this one uh, so that would be coming soon uh, but now with this 11.4.4 uh, which is i'm driving it now uh, that is also has improved uh, quite a bit uh, uh, but you have to be careful you cannot like 100 percent rely on that so after this intersection there i'm going to join the freeway and i just wanted to show you how tesla fsd works in on freeway uh, at the night time uh, so now uh, you can see the graphics it's uh, similar to the previously which i described you can see completely intersection and there are cars on the left uh, they are going to take the left turn and i'm going to go straight and then i need to take a, a freeway there so i will be merging with the freeway uh, right after this intersection So now it has become green light so I started driving feet, now uh, there is one car it is uh, just merged in front of my car uh, but Tesla has slowed down and now it will go straight I don't have to take this turn uh, it is going to be a next turn to merge on the freeway so now it is taking the freeway uh, so it actually took the freeway from there uh, it is going to merge on the freeway so it will look at uh, when it merge actually you will see on the screen now you can see there is a merging uh, so it merges right so when it merges there was issue initially but now Tesla has fixed it uh, it can uh, highlight the blue light uh, on 
the merging side and uh, then it uh, merges on the freeway so now it is uh, taking the left turn so it is it is to go to the express lane so it will go to the express lane so after driving on freeway for some time it is going to take the uh, i need to take a right turn and uh, then immediately there is a u turn for the exit uh, so it is going to be interesting drive uh, please watch uh, until the end thank you in 1 mile take exit 42 ab on the right toward us 202 morris plains Right onto Kingston Road.
In 500 feet, turn right onto Hwasi Road. Now turn right onto Hwasi Road.